Hello friends, welcome to another weekly top-down analysis video on the gold and GJ. So as usual, we are going to start our analysis with the monthly time frame, and then we'll go down to lower time frames, weekly, daily, four hour, one hour, and 30 minutes time frame. So as usual, on the higher time frame, daily, weekly, and monthly, we will find out the overall direction of the market. And uh, on the lower time frames, uh, intraday time frames, uh, 30 minutes and one hour, we will uh, find out the intraday and scalping setups as well. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, we are going to start with the gold, uh, gold uh, monthly time frame. So we are going to start with the gold monthly time frame. So as we can see, that uh, you know we have a resistance on the gold right here, as we can see, and we have the monthly candle close bearish at the resistance. So now, if we have a uh, a candle closing bearish at the resistance. So there is pretty high probability for the next candle to uh, go bearish. So basically what we are anticipating now uh, from the um, uh, monthly, uh, the new monthly candle, we anticipate the next monthly candle, basically this March monthly candle to come up, make the top week and keep going to the downside and uh, does not break the high of the previous candle. So this is going to be one situation. Another situation is, the price is going to come up, break the high of the previous candle and keep going higher and uh, most probably break through the resistance and, you know, uh, make a new high and, uh, you know, start to moving higher, making high highs and a higher low. So these are the basically two possibilities that we can see on the monthly time frame. Now, let's see how we execute these two possibilities on the weekly time frame. So now, as we can see on the weekly time frame, uh, uh, the price was making low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And as we can see, you know, the price broke the previous uh, swing high and made a new high. So what we anticipate in these situations when we, you know, broke the bearish market structure in the weekly, so we made a new high. So now we, you know, we're anticipating at this moment, uh, the price to make a higher low or to continue higher, right? So as we can see right now, the price has already, the price has already, you know, closed bullish at this support. As we can see, this was the recent uh, a broken zone where the price broke a bow, and then the price came down, you know, closed bullish at the support. So now there is pretty high probability for the price to continue higher. So now, if you remember when we were discussing the monthly time frame, we discussed about the two situations. So now let's see how we can execute these two situations on the weekly time frame so basically if we talk about the first situation where we anticipated the price to top week and does not break the previous candle high and uh, keep going to the downside now in that situation we anticipate the price to you know because we already have the bullish candle closer closure at the support right so now there's pretty high probability for the price to continue higher if uh, let's change the color so now there is pretty high probability for the price to continue higher and retest the previous high, but we want the price to come up higher, retest this high and does not break the previous thing high. And if we have a, you know, a candle closing bearish at this resistance, right? If we have a bearish candle closing at this resistance and does not break the previous thing high. So in that situation, this will be the same situation as the monthly time frame where we have a, you know, you know, candle closing bearish at the resistance. In that situation, there will be pretty high probability for the next candle to come um, lower. So in that situation, we can say, you know, the market structure in the weekly has gone bearish and that's perfectly aligned with the monthly time frame. Right? This is going to be a first situation. Now let's talk about the, another situation where we anticipated, you know, the new monthly candle to break the high of the previous candle and keep going higher in that situation. So we already know that the you know the price is bullish on the weekly time frame. We made a new high broke the previous swing high. So now we came down, you know, price closed bullish at the support. Now there is pretty high probability for the price to continue higher and break this swing high and make a new swing high. So in that situation, you know, there will be anticipation for the price to come down and make a new swing low, new higher swing low, and keep going higher and retest these resistances on the left hand side so this is going to be the anticipation as well on the weekly time frame so now let's see more details on the daily time frame if we go to the daily time frame on the daily time frame as we can see the price was uh, you know 
coming down, we made a low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And right now, as you can see, the price closed bullish uh, above this resistance. Also, we have broken this bearish market structure on the daily. We have broken the previous uh, swing high. So now what we are anticipating, we anticipate the price to, you know, you know, make some kind of, uh, we, we want the price to come down, make some kind of support and keep going higher and retesting the resistance on the left-hand side. This is going to be a resistance and uh, this is going to be the next resistance. So we anticipate price to, you know, continue this bullish momentum as we already know that we are bullish on the weekly time frame. So that's something we see on the daily time frame. To find more detail, let's see what's happening on the four hour time frame. If we look closely on the four hour time frame, then we can see that the price was making low, lower high, lower low, lower high. We made a low, then we made kind of double bottom. Price did not break the previous uh, swing low. And then we changed the market structure from bearish to bullish here. We made a new swing high, you know, higher low, higher high, as we have broken the previous, you know, uh, market, uh, I mean, previous uh, swing high, right? So in this situation, as we made a new swing high, so we, you know, want the price to come down and make some kind of a, a higher swing low and keep going to the high side, keep going higher and reach the resistance on the left-hand side. As we can say, this is going to be a resistance, we can see, and this is going to be another resistance, which the price is going to, you know, retest. So this is uh, on the four hour time frame. Now let's see what is happening. So basically what we see now, we know that the, the weekly is bullish, uh, the daily is bullish, the four hour is bullish. Now let's see what is happening on the one hour time frame. If you look at uh, one hour time frame, we will see that, okay, on the one hour time frame, we made a high and higher low, and we made a new swing high, higher low. Right now, price has broken the previous swing high. So we are anticipating some kind of pullback before we continue higher. And this can be a perfect area where the price can come because this is going to be a recent broken zone where the price can come, find some kind of support with the bullish candle closure, and then we can you know, continue to go higher, retest the resistance on the left-hand side. Now let's see, what are the different resistances on the left hand side where the price can you know come and retest if we see and we can find that okay uh i'm on uh, uh we can see that okay this is going to be a resistance area then this is going to be another resistance area and uh, this is also going to be a resistance area so basically this is what we anticipate the price to do we, you know, just anticipate the price to, you know, come down, make some kind of support and keep going higher retest this area, right? Right? This is going to be another resistance that's uh, going to be retested. So this is something we are anticipating on the one hour time frame. Now let's see more details on the 30 minute time frame. So what's happening on the 30 minute time frame? On the 30 minute time frame, as we can see, the price is making higher highs and higher low market structure. So we are pretty much bullish on the 30 minute time frame as well. We making we are making a high. We made a higher, I mean, we made a high, we made a higher low, then we made a higher high, higher low, and now we made a higher high. So again, same like the one hour time frame, we are anticipating some kind of pullback to make a higher low, and then uh, you know, looking for uh, a move to the upside to retest the resistances on the left hand side. We can also go left to find out where are the different resistances on the left hand. I mean, on the 30 minute time frame. So we can see that we have this one as a resistance. And then this one is going to be the next resistance. And, uh, and this one is going to be the next resistance on the 30 minute time frame. So resistance, as you can see, are the same as the one hour time frame. So basically, you know, we will be anticipating, you know, the price to come down, make some kind of support and keep going higher to retest this resistance and then, you know, making a higher swing low and, you know, find support and keep going higher to retest this resistance, come down to this recent broken zone and find support to continue higher to this next level. So the, this is something we are just... Uh, looking at the 30 minute time frame right so that's it guys this was about the goal now let's talk about uh, uh gj so gj again we are going to start with the 
monthly time frame. So Gigi, we are going to start with the monthly time frame. So as we can see, guys, I mean, GJ is pretty much bullish. As we can see, price is, you know, making a high. We you know, broke the previous swing high, so we made a high, high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and we have made now a new higher high, right? So as we can see, the price is pretty much bullish on the you know, monthly time frame. We are making higher highs and higher lows, right? Now, if we look more closely, we can find out as well that, uh, you know, there was a support here and, uh, you know, the candle flows back into the range. So this move to the downside has become a fake out. And now, so, you know, we anticipate the next candle to, you know, continue higher and retest uh, the previous high made by the price. But now there are the two situations. There are two scenario the price can do. The one scenario is, you know, as you can see, the price has already made a little bit off for the bottom week. So what price can do, price can keep going higher first fill this week on the left hand side you know this is going to be a level or resistance as we can see so you know fill this level fill this week and then keep going higher and we test uh, uh, the previous uh, swing high made on the left hand side so this is something we are anticipating you know price just keep moving up from here to the upside right now the another scenario is you know the price come down more maybe to this area or to this area you know making a little bit steeper bottom week but you know should not break the previous candle low and then keep going higher to retest this area and this area on the left hand side so that's going to be the second anticipation basically these are the two scenarios that we see on the monthly time frame so now let's go to lower time frame to see how these two possibilities can be executed on the weekly time frame right on the weekly time frame, as we can see now, if you see the overall market structure on the weekly, we can see that the price is pretty much bullish. As we can see, we made a high here, higher low, high, high, higher low. As you can see, we made a high, high, higher low, right? And this is going to be a new swing high. We made a higher low. And right now the price is moving to the upside to retest this swing high previously made, right? This is something we see on the weekly time frame. Now, if we talk about okay, how the two scenarios that we discuss on the monthly time frame can be executed on the weekly, so let's talk about them as well. If we talk about the first scenario where we anticipated, you know, we where we anticipated the price, you know, to start moving up from the here because we have already made a small bottom week. So in that scenario, what we anticipate, we anticipate, you know, the next weekly candle to open up here and uh, does not break the previous candle low and keep going higher, you know, to uh, fill this week, as we can see, and then, you know, to retest the more resistances that we can see on the left-hand side. So basically we want the price to continue higher from here, retest this, this level, and then this level, and this level. That, that, that's going to be the first situation. The second situation, if you remember, we talk about like on the monthly that, okay, the price, come down, make a steeper in a week, maybe to this level or to this level, but does not break the previous candle low. You know, that situation, how can be executed on the weekly? In that situation, as we can see that, you know, uh, uh, the price can come down, break this previous candle low, can come down to this area. As you can see, this is going to be a recent broken zone on the weekly. So price can come down, find some kind of support, and then keep going higher to retest this level, this level, and this level on the left hand side as we can sort of see but this is going to be the second scenario which we discuss on the monthly as well so now we saw how you know the weekly and uh, you know the monthly can go hand in hand so now let's uh, find out more details on the daily time frame on the daily time frame as we can see price is bullish as well as we are making a higher highs and higher lows as you can see we made a high we made a higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high and higher low so now we, we want price to make some kind of support and keep going higher to retest the highs on the left hand side now let's try to find out what are the resistance on the resistances on the left hand side on the daily time frame if we see you know we can find out that this is going to be a level resistance on the daily and this is another resistance and uh, this is basically 
another resistance. So these are the different resistances that we see on the daily time frame. So basically, here we anticipate the price to, you know, made a high, higher low to find some kind of support and then keep going higher to retest this high and this high, right? And after that, you know, price make a pullback, maybe to recent broken zone and keep going higher to retest the next resistance on the left hand side, right? And then come down, make a pullback to the recent broken zone and keep going higher to retest the next level, as we can see here. So that is how we anticipate the price to move on the daily time frame. To find out more detail, let's go to the four hour time frame. Basically, right now we know that the weekly is, so I mean, and the monthly is bullish, weekly is bullish, daily is bullish, right? Every time frame is bullish. Let's go to four hour time frame and see more details. So on the four hour also, we can see that the price is pretty much bullish. If we see price made a high, higher low, we made a high, higher low, we made a high and, uh, you know, price came down, made a pullback. And, uh, you know, we are just maintaining this, that bullish market structure on the four hour as well. If we just try to find out more details by looking closely, we can see that, okay, so if you see when the price is making a pullback to the downside, we saw that price made a low, lower high, lower low. You know, here we made a lower high, but price did not break this previous low created by the price. So price is just, you know, consolidating between, between this resistance and the support right now. Overall, we know that the price is bullish on the four hour time frame, right? So basically we need the price to continue higher and retest these levels on the left hand side, right? So now we know weekly is bullish. I mean, monthly is bullish, weekly is bullish, daily is bullish, four hour is bullish as well. Now let's find out more details on the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, if we look the market structure, we can see that, okay, price came down, made a low, lower high, lower low. And since then the price did not break this low. So, but you can see that we made a lower high, right? Lower high, lower high. So we are making lower highs, but we did not break this support. And uh, if we just remember when we uh, discuss about the higher time frames, we know that all the higher time frames are bullish. So basically, what we need here on the one hour time frame, we need the price to break these swing highs on the left hand side, and then we'll be waiting for some kind of pullback where we can, you know, find support. And once we find the support with a bullish candle kind of closure, we can look for some kind of, uh, I mean, a long opportunity. You know, let the price to continue going higher, retest this high, you know, making a support, then come up higher to retest this high, and this high is on the left-hand side. That is something we see on the one-hour time frame. Let's see more details on the 30-minute time frame. So on the 30-minute time frame, as we can see, you know, same as the one-hour time frame, price is a little bit bearish here. So if we see the market structure, we were making low, lower high, low, lower high, and since then, you know, the price made lower high, lower high, lower high. And uh, so price is right now ranging between this high and this low. You can say we have a bearish momentum on the 30 minute time frame. But if you uh, remember our, our analysis on the higher time frame, all the time frame, monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, one hour, everything is bullish except the one hour. So one hour is because having the same market structure, the 30 minute time frame. So monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, everything is bullish. One hour and 30 minutes are bearish at the moment. And uh, what we are anticipating on the one hour and the 30 minutes, basically we are anticipating the price to, you know, break these swing highs. And then we'll be waiting for some kind of pullback, you know, let the price find some kind of support and keep going higher to retest these levels on the left hand side. So that is something we will be anticipating. Let the price come down here, find some kind of support maybe at the recent broken zone and, you know, let the price continue higher to retest this, you know, highs on the left-hand side. So that's that. This was the analysis on the gold and GJ from the monthly to the 30 minute time frame. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really did like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. See you in another video.